Hey, Sam Harrop here. I often get asked about partnerships. Are they good things or are they bad things? And the answer is, it depends. It really does depend. And one of these things that I find the biggest reason why partnerships fail is because people don't set expectations. Okay. And so when we talk about expectations, I look at it and say there are three key areas that need to be set with expectations. What happens before the partnership? What happens during the partnership? And what happens after the partnership? So let's talk about before. Why are you going to go into partnership with somebody? Do they have the skills, expertise, resources, or money that is required to fund it? Often I find people go into partnership because they can't afford to employ the people they want to. And that's fine, but it can end up being very expensive. I strongly recommend that before you go into a partnership, you go through all these three stages. So before, understand why you want to go into partnership with them. The next part is why during the partnership. And when I talk about during the partnership, I really want you guys to get clear around what are your roles, responsibilities, and how you're going to hold each other accountable. Okay. And that comes back also to decision making. Um, who's going to make the decisions? What decisions are going to make? And what happens in the event of a decision not being able to re be reached? And after, what do you mean after? Most partnerships will come to an end. And there's a good old adage there, um, which is you plan the divorce before you get married. You get crystal, crystal clear about how you're going to exit that partnership should it not work or should it run its time? Good communication is key. And I really believe that if you are going to go into a partnership, the number one reason why partnerships fail is because people haven't clearly set their expectations. I hope this helps. Get on to it.